8,000 civilian cars left Belgorod and Kursk oblasts of Russia in a day. The Freedom of Russia Legion has stated that residents of Russia's Belgorod and Kursk oblasts, in which it is currently conducting combat operations, have begun to evacuate from dangerous areas, with a total of 7,600 vehicles leaving these regions overnight. Since the announcement of the humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of civilians from Russia's Belgorod and Kursk oblasts, more than 7,000 civilian cars belonging to residents of Belgorod city and Belgorod oblast as a whole have used it. Also, more than 600 additional civilian vehicles evacuated the city of Kursk via the corridor. The information was reportedly provided by local residents, law enforcement and security officials who oppose the Putin regime. Earlier, Russian volunteer soldiers who decided to fight on Russian territory called on residents of Kursk and Belgorod oblasts to urgently evacuate due to a special military operation on the territory of the aforementioned oblasts. To this end, they announced that a humanitarian corridor for the evacuation of the population was open from 2100 hours on the 14th of March to 700 hours on the 15th of March. After the expiration of the humanitarian corridor, the destruction of military facilities in the Belgorod and Kursk oblasts will continue until the region is completely liberated from the Putin regime's troops, the volunteer soldiers stated. On the 15th of March, residents of these oblasts were urged to remain indoors due to the intensification of hostilities in Russia and later to leave the border regions until the active phase of the limited military operation is completed. It is reported that the new humanitarian corridor will also operate overnight from 2100 hours on the 15th of March to 700 hours Moscow time on the 16th of March. Anyone who is unable to use the humanitarian corridor and leave the area of the limited military operation in time is advised to find a safe shelter. Refrain from walking outside, avoid crowds of people and vehicles and stay at home or in safe places if possible, the volunteer soldiers said. On March 14th, the Free Russian Legion, which announced that it had entered the territory of Russia's Kursk region, blew up and destroyed two ammunition depots belonging to the Russian army in Tetkino village of the region. The images were shared on the Telegram channel of the Legion. Legion fighters also released a video of the destruction of two armored fighting vehicles belonging to the invading Russian army on the border. It should be noted that on March 13, the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion, which are part of the Ukrainian army, warned that they would again enter the territory of Belgorod in Korsk and conduct an operation. They demanded the provincial administration to evacuate the local population. Currently, it is said that the shooting continues in Korsk and Belgorod regions. The U.S. is planning to send a number of additional Army tactical missile systems to Ukraine, as part of a new $300 million package of military aid, according to two U.S. officials with knowledge of the discussions, the White House announced that it would send an emergency package of aid to Ukraine, including artillery rounds and additional rounds for the 155mm howitzers and the guided multiple launch rocket system, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters that the Pentagon was able. 
to use cost savings from previous contracts to make a modest amount of new security aid available right now without impacting U.S. military readiness, citing two unnamed officials, NBC News said that the administration was willing to send a variant of the missiles, known as ATICMS, if a new $60 billion aid package approved by the Senate, but held up for now by congressional Republicans, becomes law. The report came as Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, said Russia was exploiting delays in aid to Ukraine. There is now an extremely difficult situation in several parts of the front line, precisely where Russian troops have concentrated maximum reserves, Zelensky said in newer variations of Atoms that the Biden administration wants to send to Ukraine have a maximum range of nearly 300 kilometers, typically carrying cluster bomblets, allowing Ukrainian forces to strike the Crimean Peninsula 